Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Shake a Leg Miami for today's edition of Live at 11. My name is Michelle, and I will be your broadcast host for today's show. Now, do you guys remember our theme for this week? That's right. This week's theme is Reduce, Reuse, and Recycle. We hope you also remembered to do our weekly challenge. We want you to post a video saying some fun facts about reducing, reusing, and recycling, or how you can recycle or reuse some things in your own home. And as promised, here are last week's submissions about the water cycle. Hi, this week's weekly challenge theme is the water cycle and today I will be giving you fun facts about water. Fact number one is that there are many processes involved in the water cycle. The most important are evaporation, condensation, precipitation, transpiration, and runoff. A fact about water is that water covers about 71% of the Earth's surface. Did you know that water controls the temperature of the Earth as well as the human body? Did you also know that people can live for about a month without food, but only for a week without water? That's all for this week's weekly challenge. Tune in next week for a new and fun weekly challenge. Hi, first Shake Legs media challenge. It is about the water cycle and our favorite facts. So something really interesting I found about the water cycle is of all the water in the world, only 1% is able to be for drinking use. Along with the sun is the pretty much main factor of the water cycle, you know, due to evaporation and, you know, things like that. So thank you so much for hearing me. Hi, my name is Aurelia and I'm going to be giving facts on the water cycle. So whenever water changes from one state to another and moves from one place to another, it either gives off energy or absorbs energy. Only 3% of the water in the water cycle isn't salt water and the water cycle helps to regulate the Earth's temperature. Hi Shake and Lake Miami! My favorite activity to do in the water is sailing. I love how unique and fun it is, especially when you have friends and family by your side. And I also love how every trip is a new adventure and you get to learn something new. Hi guys, my name is Ashley and one of my favorite activities while I was at Shake Leg was sailing. So my favorite thing to do in the water I think would be sailing, especially at Shake Leg. I just remember loving going in the boat in the middle of the water and just talking and hearing the sound of the water i just remember it being very calming and super chill and so that's my favorite thing my name is Gianna, and one of my favorite things about the water is sailing because with sailing you basically have to rely on the water and the wind to let you move and when it works out it's really fun and really satisfying hi my name is michelle and my favorite thing to do on the water is sailing and fishing I love the breeze of the cool air and smell of the salt water while fishing. My favorite water activity is definitely going fishing. Ever since I was little, I've always had a passion for it. Whether it's fresh water or salt water, I've just always loved it. I love the excitement of not knowing what fish you have and just the struggle. is It's always been very exciting for me and that's why it's my favorite water activity. Hi, my name is Sainez Galindo, and to whoever of you watching this, this is my 15th time filming this because I'm a little bit compulsive and that joke was practiced at least three times because again, I'm a little bit compulsive. But to answer this week's question, what I like most about the water would be its ability to bring people together, to bring families, friends, and colleagues, and to give them an opportunity to do activities, to share experiences, to have a nice, good day at the beach, and have a good, fun time. Like, who doesn't like the beach? Like, who doesn't like having a fun time at the beach? Roasting a pig, you know, playing with kids, playing volleyball, beach ball, soccer. It's a great time. It was so nice to see all of your faces again. Now, our OE, Karis, has another Spirit of America lesson for us. Today, it's all about canoeing. Take it away, Karis. Good morning, guys. This is Karis from Shake a Leg, Miami. On today's Spirit of America episode, we will be focusing on paddling and canoes and the proper strokes. Let's get to it. My name is Michael. My name is Linda. My name is Juwan. And today we are canoeing! <laughs> Before you go in the water, you have to make sure you have, have your life jacket on. So we're all gonna put on our life jackets. Make sure that you buckle your straps. 
got to be nice and nice and tight. And then you grab a buddy. Make sure that your life jacket doesn't go over your ears. So his life jacket's good. And got to tighten hers a little bit. Good, good, good. Alright, now we're good to go. So now that we have our life jackets on, we have to make sure to take a radio. It's not only important to stay communicated with safety, but also people in the mainland. So, the first thing you do is make sure you're on the right channel. So, in Shake Leg, we're always on channel 73. And to make sure that they can hear you, you do radio check, radio check, radio check. So it's clear. Okay, so now that we know what the radios work, we're gonna check how the weather is. Safety, safety, weather check. We've got some clouds coming in from the north, but we should be clear. All right, so these are the paddles that we use when we go canoeing. And pretty much, you hold it like this, and your other hand here, and you just go like this, and then you switch sides like this. Usually it's a two-man job which makes it so much easier. So have fun canoeing! Alright campers, let's load up our canoes. And we're off. Forward stroke is a motion where the camper reaches and pulls the paddle through the water. As a result, it thrusts the canoe forward. Let's try the forward motion technique for 15 boat lengths. Once we complete 15 boat lengths, let's turn and finish off with another 15 boat lengths. The J stroke is a version of the forward stroke. When using the forward stroke, sometimes the canoe kind of turns. Using the J stroke is the most effective way to keep the canoe in line. Start like a regular forward stroke. Once the paddle passes your knees, you will start to pry, meaning putting the paddle to the side of your boat to make sure your canoe stays straight and on target. The side stroke is a pulling motion where the paddler reaches out and pulls the paddle towards the body. The side sweep stroke is the same pulling motion which allows the canoe to do a turn. And that's all for our Spirit of America lesson for today. See you next time. Cars, signing off. That was such a cool lesson. Now, get ready because our OEs are going to have a race with you on the water. Check it out. Welcome to the first annual 
Psycho Mega Olympics, okay? So now, listen guys, we love competition, healthy competition at, at Shake a Leg. We want to have fun with it. We are having our kayaking event for, for the day, okay? So listen, we have two teams. Uh, uh, here at Shake a Leg, we've been divided into two teams. We have the green team and the gold team. And so let's come on over and take uh, get introduced to the teams today. Over here, we hey, got everybody. the green team. What's up? Woo! Green Woo! team. They're fired up. They're ready to go, team green. Yeah. What's up? So tell me. Who do we have competing in kayak today for the All green right. team? For today, we have myself competing. I'm Ignacio. I'm Fia. I'm Diane. And I'm Eric over here in the back. The four of us are competing for this relay race. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, I wish you guys luck. Thank you. Thank give, you. Thank give them you. all you got. Have fun, okay. guys. Now, okay, take a look at this thing. These guys over here. Right. Hey. They're fired up. They're ready to go. Yeah. We got the gold team here. Yeah, Let's give it up for the gold team. Woo! 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 So. Somebody, please tell me who's competing for the gold team today. I'm Andrew. We got Andrew here. I'm Andrew. Dominic. Jasmine. Juwan. All right, the gold team. Listen, guys, I wish you luck. Okay, let's get it going, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, thank you. Now the event for for today is kayak. So what's going to go on is that we're going to have teams do a relay, okay? And so we're gonna kayak from the dock out to a designated point. They're gonna go around a, a designated uh, area out there, a buoy, and then they're going to now come back and then exchange uh, uh, kayakers and then travel back. And so we're gonna see who has the guns to come in first, okay? Good luck again.
Hey guys, we're here with the winning team for today's selling event. Awesome job here with the gold team. Uh, good job today. Congratulations on your win. I'm curious, who's representing uh, the team for today? Who's who, who sells for you guys? That would be me. Okay. Yeah. And you are? Michael. Michael and? Juwan. And Juwan, okay. That's that's the crew, huh? Yes. Okay, awesome job today. What do you guys want to say about the win? Um, it was a close one. Um, you know, the win just wasn't with, with us today. We got the good angles, but both teams were doing really well. It's just positioning the angles, so. Okay. All right, you guys got anything to say about the victory? You know, we did pretty good. We had a little, it was a little struggle for a little bit, but we pulled it through. Yeah, stay the same. Sweet. Now, I noticed you guys were behind, okay? But you managed to somehow pull it together and come through in the end. Uh, what do you say about uh, uh, the challenges that you faced today? Well, some of the challenges was the wind, for sure, that you, could, you couldn't go too far out without having to come back and go like sideways without making any progress, per se. But um, other than that, also just had the sun. But other than that, just having a good time and having faith that you're gonna pull through. Okay, tell me this, for the campers that are at home, that some have competed and fallen behind in something, can you give a little word of encouragement? What do you say? Do you ever give up? Never give nope. up. Even when you think you're going to lose, just keep pushing through and you got it. These guys are proof of it today. They were down. Some might have thought they were out. But some guy, somehow they persevered. They continued to press on and came out victorious in the end. Give it up for the team. Go That's all the time that we have for today. Be sure to follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and our brand new TikTok page, and tune in tomorrow for another all new edition of Live at 11. Until then, stay safe and have a great day.